all want our kids to get the best education they can, but with too many students and not enough space, that can be tricky. And 8 News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live in Chesterfield County with updates on how the county is tackling this issue. Sierra, good evening. Good evening, Eric. While you're looking at the current AM Davis Elementary School behind me, you can see the trailers that some students have had to learn in because of just how crowded the building is. But just a few dozen yards away, leaders broke ground on the new, much larger building. What I'm looking for at the new AM Davis School is not ripped up walls in the trailer cafeteria. For young learners like third grader Taylor Moore, this groundbreaking for the new A.M. Davis Elementary School <laughs> means more than just some dirt being thrown in the air. It makes me feel really happy and excited. With a 533 student program capacity, yet 741 enrolled. The current building, dating back to 1964, sits at a whopping 139% capacity. Eight years with the school, promoting the power of learning. Principal Dr. Kenya Batts is more than ready for the whole student body to be consolidated under one shiny new roof. We are in the building and two additional mega trailers, and we have a trailer cafeteria. 64,000 Chesterfield County students, 67 schools, 15 over capacity. I like your life. Eager young eyes gazing at the innovative new design. It'll be the first two-story elementary school in the area. Moore loves math and English, a thirst for knowledge her mom Latoya Clark ingrained early on. She's just as ready for her student to have more space. Just to be able to witness and let her be one of the first in the new school, uh, it's just a blessing and we're excited. Moore is most excited for a new playground and soccer fields, but to her it's also about the teachers. My teacher wishes she could fit like a few more little tiny things in their classroom. The school is expected to open August 2025, but it's not the only project the school system has in the works. Stay tuned for updates on those. For now, live in Chesterfield, Sierra Krug, 8 News.